Hello and God bless everybody. I'm bringing you into more news on Final Fantasy VII Remake. This is going to be news to do with how the game is being co-developed by one of my favorite companies, Cyber Connect 2. Square has actually gotten with Cyber Connect 2 to help make the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, that is pretty cool, but... This also means that we probably won't be getting any new Die Hack stuff anytime soon because because Final Fantasy VII Remake is being helped. Well, it's not being it's not being completely co-developed by by certain people, but they're outsourcing some of the projects of it to CyberConnect 2. So, which is really cool to see CyberConnect 2 working on a Final Fantasy game because wow, we all know the work they do is amazing, but. But Cyber Night 2 is helping to work on the Final Fantasy 7 Remake to help make it a really great game and all that. Now, now, now what do I think this could entail? Well we could see uh we could see some of their some of their style of style of stuff in it. Such as such as their quick time events that they have in a lot of their video games, a lot of their stutter great storytelling stuff they have from their games because if you look at the dot hack series it has great storytelling he has great gameplay a great everything so we could see a little bit of that run into the final Fantasy 7 remake so i'm really looking forward to it i'm looking forward to what that could entail i'm looking forward to what what we could see out of that i'm looking forward to everything we could we could get out of that so 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 yeah so yeah also, uh, also I want to talk about in this video how Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be episodic. I, I know I really haven't really got my opinions on that yet, but I figured I would give my opinions on it now. And as far as it being episodic, uh, I don't, I mean, I'm kind of okay with that, but at the same time I'm kind of upset because there's no excuse that they couldn't fit this whole entire game on one disc. But, but, but at the same time, but at the same time, at the same time, I can see what they're trying to do with it. They're trying to branch it out. They'll make it last longer and all that. So, yeah, but how they could do this, I do not know. Short, of, I'm thinking they could have, I'm thinking with the episodic thing, how they said it's going to be unique to each, how uh, each part's going to have its own unique feeling. I'm thinking what they're going to try to do is, com is compilate a lot of the other Final Fantasy VII compilations into this one game so it's a even though it's a remake of the original they they, they already said so it's gonna be shot for shot from the original you're gonna try to remake it with new twists and all that and try to add things I'll be gonna try to add things from like Advent Children Dirge of Cerberus Crisis Core Before Crisis all that into this so we could see so we could see some of the uh, some of the stuff from some of the stuff from like before Crisis and Crisis Core lead up into one of the gameplay things where you could play as some of the Turks members or maybe even play as uh maybe even maybe even have a maybe even have have some of the gameplay from Crisis Core with Zach in there and all that and just have it be freaking awesome as heck with each episode having a part from that in it so so yeah so yeah but who knows when time will tell. How this will turn out? I mean, I don't think it's going to be completely linear, like like a like a Telltale game, just because you really can't do that with a Final Fantasy because it's so open and you have levels and you have all that. Whereas with a Telltale game, it's it's narrow and it's very and it's very and it's very just derivative on the choices and not really on levels and gameplay and all that. This is more open to gameplay and all that and. It's hard to incorporate that in an episodic way, so yeah, I believe we're gonna see this. Uh, I believe this episodic thing is gonna turn out in a way that is pretty unique in its own style, that that could turn out really well. Now, as for pricing, I hardly hope they don't price this too high. Also, 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 they have said that each episode is gonna be the size of a full game, so each episode will not be a short little episode. It'll be the size of what a full game has. So that means we we're, we're probably gonna get we probably gonna get 60 plus hours 
of gameplay out of each episode. So 60, 60 to uh, 7, 6, uh, that, mean, that means this could be a very long lasting game. A very long, a very long parts from each Final Fantasy thing in it to make it a very long series and lasting. So I really, I'm really liking what Square is saying about it. I'm just hoping it turns out well. Well, this has just been my thoughts on the whole, on all this other thing. Two things that are co-developing Final Fantasy VII Remake with them, and the whole episodic thing of Final Fantasy VII Remake. And until next time, people, God bless. Take care. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. It really help me out a bunch. See ya.